We wanted to catch up with attendees to find out what is the biggest unmet need in diabetes in 2018. Well, I would say that in our days there are so many different therapeutic options for diabetes that have covered a wide range of spectrum of needs, including now we have drugs that improve even cardiovascular outcomes that have been shown to improve cardiovascular outcomes. So I think that we are really we have done really unbelievable huge steps in the past in the last decade. Um, of course, you can always get better. And so we can always uh, strive to, achieve, to attain therapies that are easier for patients, like, you know, that don't have to be injected, but can be orally taken, that have fewer side effects, and that give an even better reduction and improvement in hemoglobin A1C, and most importantly, in complications. To me, the biggest unmet need in diabetes is the education of the people, person with diabetes, because unless we get them well educated, they're not going to be able to adhere to the medications, all the new therapies and the innovations that are in place. In my opinion, uh, the biggest unmet need in diabetes is um, access to timely psychological support for those living with diabetes, so type 1 and type 2 patients with diabetes. Well, we know from many studies that when patients um, can access the right services, then they can feel more motivated, more empowered to help self-manage their own diabetes. For me, the biggest unmet need in diabetes care is in the very large group of patients who have both diabetes and cancer. There is a great paucity of care where these patients would benefit very much for a much improved diabetes input into their treatment while they're having treatments for cancer. Patients with diabetes need to be ready to follow the doctor's orders. To be able to do that, they need to be less depressed, have greater self-efficacy, the capacity and confidence that they can manage their lives, their relationships, their emotions, and their disease. Without that, the best of science, the best medicines, the best glucose monitors, et cetera, won't work because people need to manage their lives every day and they need to decrease the burden of managing their lives with diabetes. And you do that by helping them first see that it's important, that they can make a difference, that they can change their outcome, and if they feel like they can accomplish things, they're much more likely to do that.